In early 2018, Prince Harry's then fiance Meghan Markle caused controversy after signing an autograph at an official visit. The press was quick to note that the soon to be Duchess of Sussex had broken royal protocol for doing so. The lucky recipient of the much talked about autograph was 10 year old Caitlin Clark, who was waiting for the couple outside Cardiff Castle, Wales. However, Meghan did not actually break protocol as she did not sign an autograph per se, but merely wrote, Hi, Caitlin. Likewise, people from all over the world who couldn't take their eyes off the royal couple of the moment wondered why the royal family is forbidden to sign autographs. For a little more than a century, the family has chosen to present itself to its subjects in a more accessible way. As a result, they began to make public appearances and even hit it off with ordinary people. Now, many of the main official activities of the members of the royal family is to attend public events. And not only that, but also to greet the people who do not hesitate to wait for hours to see the reigning family. Among the various interactions that British royals can have with people is shaking hands, chatting, and more recently, taking selfies. However, signing autographs is strictly forbidden for a good reason. This is to avoid forgeries of their signatures since they are not public figures, but political figures. Prince Charles has been seen politely refusing to do so, saying, sorry, they don't allow me to do that. However, long before Meghan with the fake autograph, it was Charles himself who broke protocol on one occasion. This happened in 2012 on a visit by Charles to flood victims in the UK. Charles simply signed a piece of paper with Charles 2012 for the son of one of the victims. Another rule that members of the royal family must abide by in public interactions is to refuse to receive gifts that are not previously approved. In addition to security reasons, this is also to prevent members of the royal family from feeling any obligation to the giver of the gift. While it may sound surprising, it's actually likely that people would rather treasure their encounter with the royal family with a photo than with a simple signature. <laughs> <laughs>